Rosemary Clooney are two of the most pleasant and talented people in show business. This may be as good a reason as any why, as husband and wife, they have been so successful in just about every phase of the entertainment field. Mr. Ferrer, or Joe to his friends, is an actor, a director, and a producer. He undertakes all three with equal skill. Mrs. Ferrer, or Rosie, is a singer, and a very good one indeed. She makes records, has her own CBS radio program two evenings a week, appeared in many movies. Evening, Rosie. Hello, Ed. How are you? Fine. Evening, Joe. Ed. Rosie, how's the baby? Oh, he's so wonderful. He weighs 10 pounds now, and he's taking uh, seven ounces at every feeding. And I want to say hello to him, because he misses his mother, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, uh, this is as good a time as any, I suppose, to ask. Is it to be motherhood or a career for you? I'd like to combine both of them for a while, Ed. I, I have a great ambition, though, to have six children. So I think by then it'll be motherhood alone. <laughs> uh, Joe, do you have any objections to this plan? No, I don't, Ed. You know, I'm uh, an off-stage husband with Rosie. When I uh, married Rosie, she'd made a very, very fine grade all by herself without my help, and I determined that I was going to stay out of her business and just be her home counselor and not her professional counselor. So whatever she wants to do is just fine with me. Well, Joe, if you're like uh, every new father I've ever known, I'll bet you uh, just happen to have a few baby pictures with you, do you? Well, you know, I, I promised myself I would not indulge in this practice, but knowing that I was going to be talking to you tonight, I did bring a picture along, and uh, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> That's Miguel Jose, known to his friends as Bombo, at the age of six hours. Isn't he cute, Ed? Oh, he's wonderful. He's got more hair than I have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rosie, uh, a friend of Joe's has called him a pack rat and said that he uh, saves and collects everything. Is that right? Yes, that's true. He collects um, old chess sets, books of every description. And this is his mass collection. Joe will have to tell you about it. Would you introduce him? <laughs> yeah, this, uh, I was at an auction once not so long ago, and I saw these African masks which came from the Osa Johnson, Mrs. Martin Johnson collection. And I don't know anything about African masks. I didn't then, and I don't now, but these please me aesthetically, and so I bought a few of them just to look at. This one looks like Kurt Frings, my agent. He does. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he'll sue you for that. I hope he doesn't sue us. No, <laughs> <probably>. <laughs> You know, Rosie's a collector, too, Ed. She has the habit of collecting gold records, which Columbia gives her every time one of her recordings sells a million copies. This one is a platinum record, and the inscription says, uh, in honor of the sale of the two millionth record, Hey There, This Old House, uh, Rosemary Clooney, Columbia Records, and is dedicated to Miguel Jose Ferreira from his mother. So, are you going to be traveling with Joe this year? I think that perhaps I'll go over in April for about two weeks. And then uh, I'll pack up the baby and nurse and join him for the summer and fall in June. Rosie, tell me honestly, uh, does Joe really have any talent when it comes to music? Oh, yes, Ed. He plays very, very good piano, and he sings very well. We say thank you. He, he, uh, uh, we did a duet in a, in a Metro picture called Deep in My Heart, and that was the, one of the first times we worked together, uh, other than recording together. And it was so much fun. He's very, very talented. All right. How about playing something for us, Joe? Well, I would you like me to play, Rosie? You, you choose it. Play uh, Love is a Beautiful Stranger. Ed, this is a song that, that Joe wrote with, uh, with Keddy Frings. Lovely. Well, he'll never get a better introduction than you just gave him. Go ahead, Joe. Right, play it. <laughs> 